What's going on, people? It's True Boxing, and I've been anxious all day to do this video. Now, for a time being, my video is going to be like this, probably, because my MacBook is having some technical difficulties. Man, that bitch just got hot and won't fucking turn back on. Like, I think it's because all the porn I watch. But enough about my sex life. Let's talk boxing. <laughs> Let me stop. But some idiots be like, you watch porn. And this way your computers will work. No, I actually don't know why it don't work. I think I got some logic board problems. But anyway, I've been like fiending to do this video all day because I just, I just, we, in the YouTube community, the boxing community, we have some, bo I mean, not only do we have boxing, boxing experts, we got, not only do we have boxing experts, but we have financial effort, experts, financial advisors, promoters. Uh, we have motherfuckers that just that wear the hats to everything. We can do it all. We we analyze fights. We tell you how much a network is making, how much they lost. We know their books. We know that we. I mean, we have auditors. We, we, we y'all some bad motherfuckers in this you this YouTube box community. You motherfuckers know it all. Now, I'm going to talk about an event that I find hilarious. Damn, is my AC working? Here we go. Let me turn this shit down. Let me turn it down. Okay. All right. I don't feel it yet. Wait a minute. There we go. There we go. I'm feeling it. It's fucking 70 degrees in the D. I need to get some gas also. But let's talk boxing. Now, for those of you who know, the Mayweather numbers, and this is, this is what sparked this video, but I'm going to get just in broad and in detail about his numbers. And I'm hearing people saying, well, the Guerrero fight was a failure and the Maidana fight was a failure. They, they're losing money on Mayweather. Now, my question to you boxing experts is, how do you know that? See, I'm, I, I'm not the smartest man on the planet. But I believe that if a network or a company is going to um, guarantee a person 30 plus million dollars per fight for six fights or whatever, then they must know a solid foolproof way that they can recoup their money. Um, because who would make that type of deal? I see a lot of you boxing experts and financial experts are not factoring this in. So, I, so you know, you ever know, let's go off topic. I've heard people talk about pay-per-view numbers and how pay-per-view is split in half between, I've heard that before, between the networks and yada yada. That's one stream of revenue. But one thing I know about business, and I do know this, is that when you need money, you never spend your money. You spend other people's money. Um, whether that be investing or loans, but you don't spend your money. You don't want to lose your money. So let's, let's talk to how this, this goes to box. And I hear people talking about the gate. And, you know, that's one, um, you know, one form of revenue. But you got to create revenue streams. If all you don't know what a revenue stream is, it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's a stream to generate money, whether it be whatever it is. Some people generate, for instance, you work. That's a form of revenue. That's how you stream revenue. Uh, you might have a side hustle. You know, mine is I'm a shoe fanatic. So I got plugs on shoes, so I flip shoes. And I got a second job. So I'm getting cake. All fucking type of ways, baby, because that's just, I'm just, I just be out hustling. So that's how, that's my revenue stream. That's my hustle. So it, it, it applies to this. So let's, let's talk, let's jump topics and talk about movies. Now, for those of you, have, have you ever watched a movie and noticed, damn, everybody in this motherfucking movie seems to have a Samsung Galaxy S5 and a motherfucking Galaxy tablet. Why? Well, my dear friends. And my people who watch my channel because that is what's called product placement product placement and what that does is what 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 movies do is they guarantee a maker of a product such as Samsung X amount of screen time will have everybody in our building um, use your phones all the people random people walking around and be using a fucking galaxy uh, I mean x5 whatever the fuck it's called and when we need to use a tablet, it'll be a Galaxy tablet. And if we walk past a store, we're going to walk past a fucking Samsung store. And they do this so they can generate money for the movie. So let's say the budget of the movie is $200 million, whether that be a, a, a diva, an actor, let's say like a, a big fucking um, uh, film star such as like, um, you know, Tom Cruise. He wants $30 million. Get where I'm going with this? So we got to be able to figure out a way to pay for all these things. So we start creating revenue streams. So we start selling bits and pieces of what we can do. We're going to give you this much time. Hey, and for all of this, and this movie is going to be a hit because we got all these A-listers and we, all this promotion, we're going to be a hit, but we need X amount of money to cover these expenses. 
and they do this. This is see what people realize products they spend a lot of money in research and development and marketing. Marketing is to make you believe you need this product. Just like in the 60s, they were selling fucking pet rocks. A rock that they convinced stupid motherfucking people that you need it. It was a pet rock. Put it in a box, make it look pretty, put some celebrities, have it do some crazy shit, look glitter and sparkle. Voila, you got idiots out here buying pet rocks. Think of that special. The marketing behind it. And that's what's important. And so that's what they do in movies. Do you think it was by chance that Superman and fucking Zod is fighting in their motherfucking IHOP? Do you think that was just coincidental? Uh, no. You want me to tell you why that happened? It's because they needed money and they said, hey, we got to have these motherfuckers fight in the building. I tell you what, IHOP, you give us X amount of money, we'll have his ass, we'll, throw, we'll have Superman throw his ass through an IHOP. Okay, bam, that's how you do it. We're going to get all these people to watch this movie. This is going to be a blockbuster hit. Same with the Super Bowl. 30 second commercial, how much does it cost? Same for when Oprah show went off the air. How much did the commercial cost? So that's what they did. So let's, how this go, let's go back to boxing. How this relates to boxing. The gate is not the only revenue stream. Neither is the pay-per-view. Did you ever think about advertisement? Advertisement is something else. Do you know how much Heineken, Heineken beer pays? Or O'Reilly, O'Reilly Auto Store? Or, you know, Mo, um, was it Valvoline Oil? How much these companies pay for a pay-per-view event that we, we, can, we can guarantee for the most part or predict? Or We can't guarantee anything with pay-per-view because that's un, uncharted territory. But we can project to reach 900,000 people and they're going to see this fucking, um, you know, this logo or, or even in the casino, we're going to, we're going to basically in the casino promote heavily to drink Heineken beer or whatever. That's a revenue stream. Do you think the other companies uh, such as the other, uh, the British sports TVs that they're not paying a cut to show boxing because of this is their event? I'm pretty sure they are. I'm, I'm willing to bet money that they are. These are all revenue streams. So in my opinion, to think that the only two revenue streams that they have for a fight are the pay-per-view, which is uncharted because hell, you can predict a 1 million pay-per-view buys and only do 200,000. See, that's stupid. We can't, or the gate, we can pretty much, you know, we can get a, a good read on the gate because the gate sells out quick. So we can say, bam, the gate sold out. It's at $20 million. But have you thought about concession as far as liquor? For, it might, who knows? That might even have, What's called like, in, if you're familiar with music, where they have 360 deals, where artists sign away part of their touring and merchandising, it might be the same way. As far as this boxing shit, for all you know, Showtime is making, you know, Floyd Mayweather sign a portion of his, because I'm pretty sure he gets a cut for being at the MGM. I'm pretty sure they, they, they get money from that. So that's a revenue stream. Oh, we're going to sell our TMT merchandise in your, step, uh, in your, uh, in your whole, I mean, in your, um, in your casino. I'm pretty sure there's a revenue stream from there. Floyd can get a percentage of that or he has it worked in. Hey, listen, when these people come to fight, first of all, they buy tickets. Then they buy, then they buy closed circuit tickets. Then they buy hotels because it's so convenient. So I'm booking hotels. Then when they come down from the hotels, what do they do? They gamble. Then when they gamble, what do they do? They eat. Then when they eat, what do they do? Pop bottles. Then when they pop bottles, what do they do? Fuck bitches. What do they do with these bitches? Bring them back to the casino. You feel me? This is all generating money. So to think that Showtime is losing money and signing him to a 200 million whatever deal, you are the dumbest person on the planet. Do you think you you think that you think that they will put themselves in a position to where shit? I'm in the wrong side of the gas station. I mean gas pump. You think they will put themselves in a position to lose huge money? Come on, son. Use your fucking brain here. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Everything has a cost when it comes to these when it comes to these events. Everything, everything has a cost. You're right. You gotta pay. You gotta pay for touring. You gotta pay for advertisement on commercials. You gotta pay for you know promotion and and and, and booking and flights and all these stuff and all these people. You gotta pay for that. But also, you got sponsors. You wanna you go get AT and T. You go get find sponsors and shit that wanna put money and get their logo shown. Hell. Sky Sports and other uh, news reports overseas, they add commercials to there. The United States doesn't do that. So when you factor in all of this money, you got, you don't offer, you, I think this is so stupid. You got to realize in life, there's always going to be somebody that makes more money off of you than you. People look at it and say, wow, you know, Jay-Z sells out to such and such. And he, he, his tour generates $100 million. They or they might offer. Oh, I can't. Rock Nation offered um, Mayweather, you know, uh, Jay Z, you know, twenty million dollars. Yeah, because they making a hundred million off of this motherfucker. So if I make a hundred million, I can offer you twenty. 
You feel me? Like, people don't look at that. Like, Al Heyman. Al Heyman comes from the music entertainment business. And, 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 and in reality, it's promoting, marketing, a fight is no different than the music entertainment. And that's his specialty. He's doing it there. This dude is a Harvard, a Harvard graduate. A Harvard graduate. How many people do you know personally that went to Harvard? I don't know one motherfucker that went to Harvard. How many people do you know? So you mean to tell me this is his field, but you tell, but it's boxing. People in the YouTube community are telling me, are trying to convince me, oh, I, I got the formula figured out. You don't know shit. I can think of tons of ways they're making money off of an event. 900000 that's just one form of revenue. What about the, the gate? What about the liquor sold at the gate? What about the TMT merchandise? Show, my, show boxing might want a percentage of all that. Maybe they got a deal. It's a reason why he fight at the MGM every, every fight because they might have some type of deal where I get a cut of everybody bringing in who orders the fight, you know what I'm saying, who comes and get, I get some type of cut. Whether it be, it could be a million dollars. If I, that, I, from my understanding, Floyd generates in the MGM in over a week.